And I, I like the, the, the croquet match. I think it's at the end of TM4. Something rock. Great fun. Great fun to write that. It's one of the most enjoyable three chapters. To, it's actually one chapter, and I had to cut it into three um, because my US editor complained. Um, but it was one of the fun, most fun things to write uh, because sport is one of those things that in the, which are very strange. You know, why why should something like cricket or football or rugby? Why should they be our national sports? You know, why not croquet? And of course, there's no answer to that. But I always thought that they would, whatever sort of game developed as the most favourite game for the for humans, it would always have a very sort of gladiatorial sort of aspect towards it, to be truly popular in the way that football and, and rugby are popular. Up so croquet became this very dangerous sort of sport, uh, but, yeah. but still maintained the slight um, and we'll politeness of croquet, and, uh, and would really still have the Italian sunken garden and the rhododendrons actually inside the pitch. <laughs> you know. And I like the idea of having also... Um, uh, you, you had on pitch um, lawyers who, who would actually <laughs> argue, you know, the particular points of law because it's actually coming that way now in the, in, in in soccer. Is that they're going? Oh well, this is we're going to take it to the high court. And you go, what? It's only a game. I'll say, but it's not. Of course. Anyway, so this is the croquet stadium. In my book, it's actually I think you're like a forty thousand seater. Um, apparently, one of these one of these stands came up from Aldershot where it was used um, in the, for the army and they gave it to, here, I don't know whether it still is. Anyway, but it's one of those huge, like, US-style stadiums in my books, which is much more fun. Have you had any um, contact with the official croquet associations? Have you had any um, feedback from them? Yeah, the interesting thing about um, official croquet, um, the, the federation, um, I've been to watch a couple of matches, which are really fascinating. Um, but but they, they, they believe that um, it's a bit like the AV, you know, the people who uh, think that you can't possibly understand it, you know, that was sort of, seems to be the plank of the, the no people. So AV was far too complicated for us, more stupid people yeah. to understand. And the interesting thing about Croquet Federation players is that they think that Croquet is so complex that we couldn't possibly understand it. <laughs> so, so whenever um, we turn up in somewhere like um, uh, New Zealand or South Africa or Australia to, and have a game of Croquet with um, booksellers, um, the people who run the Croquet set think that um, Pitch used to scream, used to say, well, you want to play like golf croquet, which basically means you just have to get it through the hoop. And, and I said, no, 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 we want to play proper federation rules, uh, which are actually really good and it's an excellent game. But I was playing it the other day and I suddenly realised that I'd spent most of my on green time explaining how to play croquet to other people. Um, so so on, on the, the theory of croquet, I'm actually very good, but actually trying to get the balls to hit one another, I'm not so good. <laughs> so. Uh, and then I drop, I drop the, the mallet and everyone thought so I'd have thrown it, which is very embarrassing, because what do you do? If you just miss a shot and then you drop the mallet by accident, everyone's going, ooh, it's only a game. I go, no, 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 I dropped it. And they go, yeah, right. So what, what do you say? You just can't, you can't do anything really. But I didn't throw it. <laughs> But it's, um, it's like, uh, the thing I like about croquet, not only is it it's great fun, really good fun game you play probably, but it's one of the few games like golf, it doesn't have an umpire, right, because you don't cheat at golf in the same way that you don't cheat at croquet. You just don't do it, it's like not the done thing. Um, I, I've been to a federation matches in croquet where they're not sure whether it's gone through the hoop or not uh, and all they do is ask someone else who's playing on the next green uh, could you come and have a look and he comes over and he goes no and then you carry on <laughs> and it's even more polite than, than cricket you know if you were to catch someone out in cricket or get a six or whatever it'd be like that and straight on right that outrageous if you did that in croquet you'd be considered vulgar right? in, in croquet if somebody managed to do an incomplete game because you can do that without actually the opponent hitting the balls once you can actually go all the way around and if somebody did that you go like that you go that'd be it and then you'd nod like that and that would be the same as having rah rah girls in you know in, in super bowl so it's even more reserved 